Hello! We're back with more decluttering. Um, I am continuing in my dresser that is in my closet and I'm going through SD clothing right now. Um, some of these are clothing that I've made for my smart doll. Some of them are just random SD size, one third size clothing that I've purchased over the years. Um, so we're going to go through all of those in this video. As always, I'm just going to start out with a little bit of information as far as decluttering. Um, so like one of the biggest things with decluttering is that, sorry, my dog brought this in again and it is very noisy. All right. Sorry, Zero. <laughs> He's always under my table. Anyways, back to the dolls. So decluttering, um, one of the biggest steps in decluttering is um, if it's not a clear yes, it's a no. It doesn't work very well for me in my doll room because um, these are, it's like, obviously, yeah, if it's like, I like this skirt, then I totally, it's totally a yes. Um, but it's a little bit trickier because, you know, I have so many dolls and they have different styles. So it may not necessarily be my style of clothing, but it looks really cute on my dolls. So I try and go through um, things like, you know, does it fit my doll? You know, do I love it? Which, you know, is kind of the whole is the clear yes. Um, I lost my train of thought. Does it fit your doll? Does Do you love it? Is it... Um, I just totally... My mind went blank. Th those are the important things. It's like, does this item... Do, does this belong to any of my dolls? Is it my doll's style? Um, you know, who whose skirt is this? Is it anybody's skirt? Can, like, you know, multiple dolls wear it? Um, so a lot of my characters with my resin dolls, they have a certain style. Um, some of my smart dolls have a particular style. Like, there is, like, a couple of dolls that um, I probably won't ever change their clothing out of. Like, my Batgirl, my Supergirl doll. Um... My sword, one cyborg girl that I have, she's going to always be wearing probably the same type of outfit. So, um, right now the reason why I have so many, that's what I didn't like mention. I guess the last video with the MSD stuff was a little bit different because all of the dolls are out here and they do have clothing. So this is going to be new for my smart dolls um, because they are pretty much my smart dolls and my Dolphies, uh, Dolphy Dreams. They are pretty much the majority of the one-third scale dolls that I have. I do have three resin dolls. Um, one is a boy. He is a Sum, and um, he fits larger clothing than, I think, normal SD size. So I don't think, and I, I just like him in his full set outfit. So he just kind of stays in his outfit. Um, I have two other, I should have three resin dolls, but I... I'm getting rid of the one body and I want to get a new body for a head that I have. So I have an Eiffel House girl, which is a different size than other dolls. Um, so most of these SD clothes aren't going to fit on them. So if none of these fit on my smart doll, then I'm probably going to have to let it go. And the other one is an Argo doll body. And um, some normal size SD clothes will fit. Um... Yeah, but there's some in here that I might want to go through and see, especially like pants and stuff. I think pants, I think she's, I think she's got thicker hips than smart doll does. I can't recall because right now I think she's wearing an outfit that is, um, no, it's not a Dolphy Dream outfit. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. Um, so yeah, the majority of this stuff. I have three drawers of SD clothing. So I have a drawer, one drawer full of Smart Doll brand clothing, which I'm not getting rid of any of those. So I'm not going to go through those on a video. And they're all pretty decently organized um, the last time that I organized them. So I think, I think they're fine. And then I have a drawer full of clothing that I made for my Smart Dolls myself. Although some of them spilled over into the third drawer, which is... Um, the random SD drawer that has ready-made clothes and some clothes that I had and some accessories. So the reason why I 
they're really packed full right now is because all of my smart dolls currently are not wearing any clothes. They're hanging out in their underwear. Um, I only have like one, two, three, four, five. I only have 10 of my smart dolls that have has clothing on right now. So I have no room in those three drawers. I have no room at all. None of these containers are empty. Every, every container is being used at this time. I've got clothing that's floating around. There's actually more in the other drawer. So this is just one drawer. So most of these clothing, um, I think it's probably half and half. Half of them is going to be uh, ready-made clothing that I should, I guess ready-made clothing is, is fine of a word. A clothing that I bought from like Alice's collections and various other uh, companies, shops, um, in person, things like that. But uh, some of them are stuff that I made too. So that being said, we're going to get started into this big pile of things. Oh, first of all, I'm going to talk about the containers. Um, so in my last video for my MSC dolls, I was working with four by six ones. So this is the four by six. This has got, looks like it's got a bunch of socks and stuff in it. Um, but like bigger items, I can fit a few different items. Like this just has two pairs of two shirts and a pair of pants in here. Whereas in these bigger containers, um, I can fit a little bit more. So these are four by six and these are five by seven. The four by six came in a plastic container like this that held 18, no, 16 um, of these small ones. And they fit into, you can see the little slots in there. They fit in here. So you can um, have just these full of the containers or like me, I have them all in a drawer because um, it actually just takes up less space and then I use these for other things. And then the five by seven containers fit in one of these. I think, I wanna think maybe seven, I think maybe this comes with seven, but um, I buy these off of Michael's and um, usually they go on sale. I would wait until they like have 50% off if you're like interested in getting these type. Um, I know that they sell these containers separately. It just was cheaper for me to buy them in this container and then I have an extra container to fit other things in. So that seemed to, you know, it just, it worked out price wise that it was better for me to just do that than to um, buy these individually. But these are you can buy these individually. I know you can probably get at them off of Amazon, AliExpress. Um, like I said, these are from Michaels. Joanne, Joanne's carries them. Um, I'm sure there's other places that carry them too. I'm not sure if Walmart does, but yeah, they're photo, they're photo um, storage cases. So let's get started. Um, this is probably going to be a very, I shouldn't say a very quick video. I always say that's a quick video and then it ends up being like almost an hour long. But um, I, I know a lot of these things, like I said, since all my dolls are um, currently clothless, unclothed, um, I know I can downsize the amount that's in these drawers. But uh, at this time, I just haven't decided what I'm doing with my smart doll collection. Um, that could be a totally different video that I go through the dolls and maybe like try to figure out their styles and stuff and how I want to, uh, to, uh, put clothing and things on them. So yeah, let's get back to this and, uh, see where we get. Uh, so yeah, like what, where I would, the point I was getting to is that I'm not sure how much is actually going to get decluttered because Yeah. I've been through this stuff multiple times. And I probably don't need to open all these. All right. Um, I just really like this skirt. I mean, it's got pirates and stuff on it. 
I can't remember if these are from Dolph or Volks. Um, they have elastic on them, so oh, I wonder if these. I don't think these would fit my pair, girl. But I'm wondering if maybe they would, since they have that elastic. I don't know. I can't recall why I'm keeping this skirt. I thought this was too small in a smart doll, so I'm going to put this in a try-on pile. Um, oh, and I have to like say this in every single video when I say something about piles. Um, all the decluttering videos, most of them will tell you not to make piles of stuff because then you've, then it's like, I don't know, it, it's like an organize, it's like a, a mindset that, you know, if there's like a bunch of piles and now you're having to deal with, you know, got to deal with all the things in this pile and this pile and this pile. Um, usually you want to have um, a box or some bags, like a, a trash bag, a box for donations, you know, and things, donations or selling the, you know, sell items. So usually you, there's usually some kind of sort of pile. Um, but for me, since this is doll related, um, I really need to see whether or not these clothes fits on any of my doll. So I'm going to pull this one out. And see if this fits maybe my Argo doll or my see if this fits my smart doll for some reason I'm thinking that was too small but we'll see and I'm not I'm not a hundred percent with these shorts um, because of the elastic and stuff they are well made these are Vogue's fake pockets I'm going to put this in the try on pile. Yeah. I'm actually going to put this in the try on pile too because um, I can't remember. I, I thought this was too big on my smart dolls too. And that's all I have. Um, this one, I don't care. I'll fit it on somebody. <laughs> so, all right. That kind of want to grab the let's see what's in here. Oh, so we have black stockings that I probably will not put on my smart dolls, and I don't really, I'm not really gonna, like I said, I only have two, I only have two resin SD dolls, and one of them has animal feet, so she cannot wear stockings. And the other one, I don't think I would ever put black stockings on. So I, I think I might get rid of these. This is an animal print top. Um, I feel like I may have tried these on my smart doll, but I really honestly forget. So I kind of want to try them on my smart doll again, just to make sure. Since she's the only thing that I have, or they're the only thing I have, um, these are arm, arm, uh, arm warmers. I guess you would say. These are socks. These are really cute socks. I really like them. These are stain. Another pair of socks and socks. So yes, yes. I have to put. Th these are really cute. Um, I feel like, I don't know if these are, they have to be SD. I feel like that's really small for a foot though, but they're so cute. They've got little hearts on them that I could, I could put those on top of, um, protective like body stocking. I don't know if I've ever, you know, I'm going to have to put that in the try on box. If for some reason this doesn't fit then I'm going to get rid of the matching armbands but we're gonna I'm just gonna put that in there all right these are boy clothes I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all of these do, 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 do. shirt shirt yes 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 yep I'm gonna keep all of those because I 
don't have very many boy clothes and I really like those. Although this shirt, I can't remember, but I think this shirt is a larger size. No, I think that was the other shirt. Yeah, I'm going to keep those. Like I said, eventually I'm, my dolls are going to have clothing on and I don't have a lot of boy clothes. I have more girl clothes than boy clothes. Um, oh, definitely keeping, definitely keeping. Yep, those are definitely all keeping. Just wanted to know. Big thought. And I know those will fit my smart doll boy. This is something new. I haven't tried on any of my dolls. Um, but yes, this is definitely a keep. And I think this might fit into... I'm not going to do that right now. We'll do that off camera organizing things and um I don't think I've tried this on any of my dolls I it almost looks like it might be too big but um yeah I'm gonna put that on the try try on pile this is this is cute but I think this is from doll of a kind but I don't know if I'll ever like have my dolls wearing this. I'm gonna put on put it in the try-on pile. I want to see what it looks like on my doll. These are hats that obviously nobody is wearing. Um, but just in case I want to put hats on my doll, they are here. I've got like four of these canvas like hats. I think I got them off of AliExpress and they were really really affordable so I got them in different colors um, but yeah and this is I think this is actually real leather. It doesn't feel like fake leather. A space? I think it says A space. I don't know what that went to or how I got it. <laughs> like I said, some of this stuff I've had forever. But you know, I don't really know if, I don't know if this fits on any, yeah, I think it would, but you know, I'm gonna have to try this on my smart doll to see if it fits. Cause there's no, there's no point in keeping something that might not fit my doll. Um, here's some random stuff that is was just piled in there. So we're gonna take care of that. Um, I made these leggings, so, and I really like them. They're so cute. The brown with pink hearts. Keeping that. Um, I made a whole different, like, set of stuff. So this is pink. It's got love on there. So this was, like, the Valentine's Day stuff that I made for my smart dolls. Um, they're just not in their proper place or a container. Um, these need a button snap on them, so I'm going to put this in the fix pile. But I know who these are and who these belong to. One of my smart doll boys. And um, that's running around in an underwear. But yeah, that, that's the fixed pile. Christmas shirt. Love it. This is like the bad thing with me um, making stuff. Because I originally was going to start making clothing to sell. And I just, I, I love the stuff too much that I make that I don't want to sell them. Because look, there's like little candy canes down the sides of the skirt. Made that. This is a really cool hoodie that has ears, but I'm really on the fence about keeping it um, because I've only tried it on um, my pear girl once. It's a little bit wider. So I think this is like, um, Oh, I'm trying to think. There's different. There's like SD, there's SD13, um, SDGR, something like that. Um, there's different different terms as far as like body sizes and stuff. Um, so it's it's always it's sometimes hard to tell, but I'm gonna it looked really cute on my pair girl. I'm gonna try it on my pair girl again just to see how it fits. Uh, this is a hoodie that I made. Christmas hoodie keeping holiday dress keeping 
This is from Volks. Um, it's a cute little t-shirt. I like that. Just keeping that. I know it fits. Um, this is a, I don't even know why it's in this plastic thing. It should be in one of these containers. This is like a flight suit. Um, that is, I believe, supposed to be smart doll size. It's got like the American flag on there. It's, it's decently made. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any of my dolls wearing this yet. And it's like fake pockets. So I'm not like a hundred percent. This is kind of a, eh, I don't know if I want to keep it. I'm going to put it on my smart doll boy and see if I still like it. Uh, this is some things that were in the MSD drawer. So these are things that I know that I'm keeping. They just needed to go in this drawer instead of some stockings, some more stockings, leggings from the last video, some stuff from the last video, boy clothes, of course I'm going to keep my boy clothes, and a couple of t-shirts that I got from um, on Etsy. Love this one, this is my favorite shirt. Free, hit, free hugs, just kidding, don't touch me. <laughs> and I love that t-shirt. All right. All right, I'm just going to have to grab these. Um, I'm just glancing. These, that's what's good about these containers is that um, you can see through them. And if you have at least two layers, you can see all the stuff that's in it. And um, I'm looking at all this stuff, and this is definitely stuff that I would keep. So I'm not going to go through that. Um, this is a cute polka dot dress I definitely love, and another dress that I made that I definitely love. So that is definitely a keep. <clears throat> this I'm going to open because I'm not sure what these shirts are. This is from Doll, Doll of a Kind, I believe, too. It has a DK on it. Um, I don't even know what doll I have that would actually wear this. So I'm going to put that in the try-on pile. Um, this is a really fun hoodie. But it's also black, and I would have to uh, put something underneath it. But I do still like it. This, on the other hand, is pretty huge. Um, I think this is too big. I think this might be 70 centimeter size. And I think this is probably too big, but it is so adorable. I'm going to put that on the try, try on pile. I think it's going to be too big. Maybe I'll put it on one of my pair girls, but I think it's going to be too big. But this, I definitely have to keep. I love this. I love this. Rainbow Zebras. Okay, just glancing. This is a lot of holiday stuff that I still like and put on my dolls during the holidays. More boy clothes, mostly holiday stuff. I know this is probably like lame for me to do it this way. Um, but yeah, yeah, those are, those are one pair of pants. There's some pink pants that I keep keeping, but they're not exactly the right size. I'm going to take those out and I think I might. I had to roll them up because they were too, they were too short and they just looked cuter rolled up. So I'm going to try these on my smart doll boy again because these are actually, I made them into boy pants. I'm going to try them on my smart doll boy again. Um, to see if I do actually like them, because I could totally make another pair. They're like made out of corduroy if I decide that they're not exactly the right size. Okay. This is um, a pair of pants that 
I love these pants. Um, for some reason, they ended up being just a tad smaller than the other um, pants that I've used with the Smart Doll pattern. Um, and they're a little bit of a struggle to get on my Smart Doll, but I do get them on. But I love them, and I'm going to keep them. Maybe I'll make them into shorts, so that way that they're they're easy to get on. I'm not sure, but yeah, those are some some tops. Some more tops. I'm opening this because this is really cute. Um, okay but I don't know if it's really anybody's style that top that I made I like that top I think once I go through my smart dolls and try and figure out what everybody's styles are it'll be easier to go back through here and maybe declutter some more but right now I think all of these are keepers they're precariously stacking up over here. All right, these, I think these are all SD size tops. These pants are the same way. I made these originally for um, a resin sole doll, I believe. Working pockets and everything. But I'm gonna put those in the try on pile. This actually has stains on the back of it. If I can get those stains out, then um, I may keep this shirt, but I think I'm going to end up putting this in the get rid of pile. Oh, I like those. I like those shirts. Definitely keeping that shirt. We are at 27 minutes, which is not good for my phone because it likes to shut off after 30 minutes. Um, this is a, oh my gosh, my brain just like shut down and I can't think of what the, this is called. Jumpsuit. It's not a jumpsuit. It's a bodysuit. Um, leotard, uh, yeah, catsuit. Catsuit is the name I was looking for. But yeah, these are a couple of items that I bought off of Etsy. These are leggings, cute little skirt, and some tops. Those are yes. These are things that I set aside and put in a different container that fit my pear body um, that I actually made for my Eiffel House. But I put those in a different container because I know those fit my pear body. But I don't know whether or not that's actually her style. So again, once I kind of figure out what style that I want my smart tools to be actually wearing, then maybe I can downsize things a little bit more. Um, this just this has two pairs of jeans in it. This would be completely empty if my boys were actually wearing clothes. I really need to get to that. All right. Figuring out what to my dolls in. This is a cute shirt. Um, however, I'm not sure if it goes with anything. I guess you could put it with jeans. Um, yeah, this is stuff that I like. I like this stuff. These are pre-made. Different doll clothes. This is um, clothing that came with my Argo doll, when I bought her second hand, um, this is a tank top. I think this fits my smart dolls, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try these things on my smart doll to see how they fit and if I like the way that they look or if they're even my stuff, their, their style. Um, this probably would fit on a boy, it'd be look really cute. These pants are probably not going to fit because they're wider, but Mm, no, because these are actually from Eiffel House. 
Um, so these would probably be too long for my pear girl, but I'm like wondering if these might fit my pear girl. I'm going to try those on. So 30 minutes. Oh no. These are Volks items. They're, um, stain preventative clothing. This, is this the one that goes to, I have, I have one that I'm have a Delphi dream that I'm sewing and I haven't been able to find her. Yeah, this is preventative clothing. So I know this is stuff I'm keeping. All right, we're down to some accessories here. We didn't get rid of, we don't have a pile of get rid of stuff. Scarf, I think it's really cute. Um, this, I really don't know. I don't, I don't think, I don't think anybody's going to wear this. This is like the try on pile because, yeah. Like what, what even is this? This is just like a piece of cloth. Is it just a square? Yeah, this is just a square. I guess maybe it's like a handkerchief or something. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't want like I don't want it. <laughs> this is like some kind of I guess I was phone cutting out again. Um this is a piece of fabric that I was using as a scarf, but I don't even know if I need to use this as a scarf. And then the try-in pile. This is um, like a handkerchief kind of thing. This is from um, our generation, like doll. I, I don't even I don't even know why I have this. I don't think I need that. A little knitted thing that's a scarf. I don't think I'll probably want to keep that. That's kind of nice, but I don't know if it matches anything. So yeah. All right. Done. One more. My video might cut out again. Um, it's a belt. Yeah, this is a belt. I think that came with my Argo doll. Stockings, stockings. Again, these are black socks. I don't think I'm going to keep those. Little white socks. Yep. Keep those. Keep those. I don't think I need these. These are cute. If I can get rid of a few things in here. These, these are socks, but these actually are, I think these are supposed to be in my MSD. These are like leg warmers. More cute little socks. I'm going to try those on, or not me personally try them on, but these are cute little socks, but I'm not sure. I don't think put those in the try on pile. These are adorable and polka dots. I love polka dots, but um, I don't know if this even matches anything that I have. I'm always hanging on to stuff that I'm just like, well, it might match something. Um, these are socks that I made. But I don't, I think I got rid of the sweater that I made that matches it. Or there might have been a hat. I don't know. But um, I'm going to put that in the try-on pile. These are some socks. I don't even know why I have them because I don't think they would match anything either. Try-on pile. These I think I will keep. Those, those, okay. So that's that. All right, kind of rushed through that. This is a pile of try-on stuff. Um, we all, I only kind of tossed out a few things, but I kind of expected that because I knew that I had gone through a lot of that stuff before. Well, actually, there's more of a, these are all try-on piles. Um, so some, I mean, there might be more stuff that is going to get in the, tossed in the let go of pile um, once I go through this. So stay tuned. I'm going to put you on pause. Oh, right. We are back. I tried on um, that pile of clothes. And um, this is now my pile of stuff to get rid of. 
Uh, this was a little bit too small for my smart doll and I didn't really I haven't decided if I'm keeping my DDP uh, Dolphy Dream Pretty doll, body or not doll just kind of fitted but it was a little bit too big so it's kind of that in between maybe this might fit on the sister body but yeah got rid of that um, getting rid of decided not to keep this and just all kinds of random stuff that I tried on and I just didn't like the way it fit so yeah we have a pile yay pile of let goes perfect so then I have all this stuff over here that I need to reorganize and get back into the um yeah into containers but I have three of these small containers that I um was able to free up from my MSD drawer so all of these should be able to fit into um those but plus I got rid of all of these so I might have some extra space yay yay for decluttering so that is it for this this decluttering video um as always go ahead and hit that subscribe button and um, like the video if you like the video feel free to place any comments below and um, I will do another series of this like a part two this is part one of the SD clothing that I'm going to go through and the second part is going to be the stuff that um, mostly everything um, I made that's in that drawer um, which I probably will end up keeping most of it but we will see some of it I may decide like you know what I I'm not really into this this outfit anymore so we'll pass it along so thank you so much for watching um feel i already said feel free to place any comments below i will see you next time uh take care and stay safe bye um i did used to have all my smart doll clothing in these cj bags uh they're from smart doll the problem was is that it was kind of they're kind of slipping around a little bit because they're very plasticky and slide they were just sliding around and they were just it, it was looking like a mess so that's why i went with the um plastic photo containers that i showed you in the last video um unfortunately a lot of the clothing that is in that plastic container um with the bulkier clothes the clothes are just too bulky to fit into those little photo things um so that's why i kind of shoved them in there but I might try and see, figure out a different way to maybe get some type of divider system in there versus putting them in these because I, I feel like the same thing's going to happen. They're going to start sliding around and it's just going to look like a mess. So maybe, uh, like I said, maybe some kind of drawer dividers or something to kind of keep them so I can see what's in there and not have to like rifle like through it like you know like you're digging through your your like drawers for your clothing um <laughs> actually all of my clothing the way that i have everything in my drawers i mean the clothing that i do have in drawers um i have like the way that I, I have them folded so like probably ocd ish <laughs> but they're like stacking like almost like a filing system so it's like I have all of my like leggings um folded and everything to where they're all in the drawer this direction not laying on top of each other they're all laying they're all this direction so that it's almost like a filing system so they're you know this direction you can see into the drawer and you can see what you have instead of having to rifle through and look for things and um then your drawers become a mess <laughs> but with bjd clothes because they're a little bit smaller um the folding techniques that i use for my clothes is completely different um because they're bigger clothing it's i can fold them and you know in in the way that i can because of the size that they are but yeah i'm not sure if i can do that with my bjd clothing 
Um, but yeah, some type of a uh, drawer divider or something could work. So we'll like, I'll have to like think of something. Um, I always like to create different things like um, this for instance. This is the case that the five by seven um, photo cases come in. And um, this is just, what you call it? Oh my gosh. It's just the foam board. It's foam board and I just, I just like, you know, tape together a box so that this can sit in here and I've got heads in here and then heads in the top and then this still can shut and everything is in there. But um, I used to have dividers in here when I had some of my painted smart doll heads. But I'm rambling now. So yeah, all the stuff that we went through today, that I went through today, um, I'm going to put in their proper place. And then we're going to get started on the next drawer. Um, I might do two drawers together. Um, we'll see how the time is because like I said, my phone... I have to find a different way to do videos. I got to check my phone to see if there's some kind of setting that my phone is on where it's only taking 30 minute video because I do have space on my phone for more than just 30 minutes. So I don't know. It's, it's just really weird that it's like, oh, limited amount of video space has been used. So that is it for today. Um, a few things, just a few things got decluttered out that I'm letting go. Really, this was, like I said, all about just kind of getting through this drawer and like, what is the stuff that I just shoved in this drawer and does it belong somewhere else? And they do. So we got our answer. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, probably not as exciting as the rest of them, but still, it just still longer than probably should be. Maybe if I uh, stop rambling so much, right? <laughs> Anyways, feel free to like hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to like the video and place any comments below. And until next time, uh, take care and stay safe. Bye.